In this video, let's take a look at VXLAN VPN interrupt between AOS CX and Cisco IOS XE and XOS switches. I have two H25s which function as spine switches. And you can see 6300 VSF switch here is one leaf. I also have two other Cisco switches, a Cisco Catalyst 9300 and a Cisco Nexus 9K. And they all have different loopback addresses. The spines have loopbacks of dot 11 and dot 12, while the leaf switches have dot 1, dot 2, and dot 3. In this demo, I'm using OSPF area 0 with AS number 65001. I'm doing IBGP eVPN. And basically, I have a layer 3 underlay fabric, and I have layer 2 VXN tunnels between the leaf switches. I also have a traffic generator at the bottom that's connected to all three leaf switches and I'm doing full mesh traffic on two VLANs, VLANs 101 and 102. For interrupt, manual eVPN route distinguishers and route targets are required. So let's take a look at spine switches. You can see on the spine switches which are route reflectors, I have peering to all three leaf switches and they are all established. You can see the eVPN route types tree from both of the Cisco devices because I shut down the VXLAN interface on the 6300. That's why you only see both the Cisco switches, both advertising with next hops dot two and dot three on the two VNIs. So VNI 10101 is VLAN 101 and 10102 is VLAN 102. So we do see EVP and route type three is for bump traffic that is sent from the Cisco switches to A325 spine route reflectors. On spine number two, we see the same thing. It's established to all three leaf switches, IBGP, EVPN established, and we also see the EVP and route types three coming in. So on the 6300, what do we see? Let's take a look at config first. Basically, we have OSPF enabled, the VLAN, EVPN. These are the manual route distinguishers and route targets that I mentioned that's required for each VLAN. So VLAN 101 has import of 65001 colon 101. VLAN 102 will have export of 102. Then these are the uplinks ports, the spine switches. They are on slash 31 subnets. This is the interface VXLAN. Source IP is the loopback with the VNIs that are mapped to the VLANs. And on the router BGP, I specify the two route reflectors, dot 11 and dot 12. In the same AS number, I specify the loopback, which is the source, loopback zero. And under EVP and address family, I activate them. And I send the extended community. So what can we see from PGP right now is established and we do see the eVPN route types tree from both the Cisco VTAPs but there are no VXLAN tunnels at this time. So let's bring up the VXLAN interface. After a while, you should see the tunnels come up. All right, it's up now. We have tunnels from source dot one to dot two via eVPN operational up for both VLANs 101 and 102. We also have tunnel from dot one to dot three, the Cisco Nexus 9K, which is up and operational for both the VLANs as well. So on the spine switches, we we'll now see route types 3 being sent from dot 1. So now we see it from the 6300 VSF switch. Next is 9K. You see it's established. You see some type 3 routes as well from the dot 1 and dot 2 switches. Let's look at MAC addresses now. Right now, there are no MAC addresses because the ports to the traffic generator right now is all shut down. Links are all down. There's no traffic being sent or received. So let's start by bringing the port up towards the traffic generator to learn the MAC addresses. You should see the link come up. It does come up. You should see some MAC addresses. These are the MAC addresses learned locally on 3.125 on the 6.300. On the Cisco site, we should also see the same thing. We see some new MAC addresses learned with next hop of .1, the 6.300 VSF. Let's bring up the port on the 9K. This is the port facing the traffic generator. It should come up now as well. And you see they are begin to start sending traffic. And these are the MAC addresses learned remotely from the leaf switch number one. While on the 6300, we see both the local MAC addresses learned as well as the remote MAC addresses learned. So it is working. We are learning the MAC addresses from the 6300 to the Cisco Nexus 9K, right? and we have traffic being sent and received correctly as expected. Next, let's go to the CAT 9300. Let's do the same thing. We see some remote MACs. These are the MAC addresses learned on VLANs 101 and 102 from nexthops.1, the 6300, and dot three, the Nexus 9K. Let's bring up the port facing the traffic generator. The port should come up. Right now, we do see the MAC addresses being learned on the local ports 103 for both VLAN 101 and 102. And on 6300, you should see the new MAC addresses from the Catalyst 9300. You can see from the traffic generator is being sent and received as expected. We do have interrupt working with Cisco switches for EVP and VXLAN. 